thank you very much for joining me today. I have got a very exciting one because I'm going to be unboxing a beautiful new bag. And before I do that, I just quickly wanted to say, if you enjoy my content, want to see more videos from me, bag reviews, bag unboxings, bag QCing, um, quality checking, um, small business, mum life, then please do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my content and videos. So I'm going to just quickly take this beautiful beautiful ribbon off and it comes as you can see in quite a big box so let's just flip the lid and then we're going to open up the bag and i'm going to show you the newest addition to my collection and it is this is the chanel gabrielle backpack let me unwrap this i'm just gonna say it i love this bag on first impressions i'm just a bit awed and a bit like wow it is absolutely gorgeous chanel bags for me are very classic very beautiful very pretty almost and this is a really interesting twist it's very edgy it's very cool but it's also really classic as well because you've got the gorgeous cc logo at the front which is in a ruthenium hardware i just love it i feel like it's classic in its own way this bag definitely has some beautiful design elements Elements. and also some like nice contrasting features too if you compare the aged calfskin which gives you a kind of distressed look on the front with the beautiful smooth calfskin at the bottom I feel like that is just looking at it aesthetically really really beautiful now let me talk to you about the straps if you see this bag in passing you're not going to pick up on this detail but it has a mixture of four different metals so we've got ruthenium just here going into shiny silver and then we've got age gold and then it turns into shiny gold and it's a really good structured bag you can feel they've kind of reinforced the bottom so when you put the bag down it's not going to kind of sink in on itself so i really kind of like that detail in terms of the construction <sighs> Oh, this bag smells of fresh leather. So I've been trying out different backpacks. I have a backpack, my Louis Vuitton Montserrat one, which has drawstring with the flap over it. I have my Palm Springs Mini, which has a little zip over the front. And this one is different in its design because it's literally kind of like a bucket bag because you can just pull it open and you have easy access to the bag. And then to close it, it's really straightforward because you just do that. So I have three different backpacks with three different openings. So so I'm trying to just test out to see which one I prefer. On initial first impressions, I do enjoy not only the sound that this is making in terms of the chain. You know, I've got to say, actually, with Chanel flat bags, I do love the sound of the chain. I just, there's something about it. It must be like ASMR. It's like music to my ears. But what was I saying? Um, I, I think on first impressions, I'm really enjoying how easy this bag is going to be to use in terms of just accessing my things. Oh, just love that sound. It has the most beautiful red lining. And I should actually say that this Gabrielle backpack comes in two different sizes. You have a smaller size and then you have this size. And actually I watched a lot of YouTube videos and in hand, the smaller one looks better, but on the body and worn on the body, the big one looks better. And the big one's also better because you can fit more into it and you can carry more. So I couldn't find any pictures of this bag on the Chanel website. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit of a different kind of QC because we're gonna go based on what I've seen on YouTube videos and also on reselling sites. So I normally do these QCs with a light flashing directly on the bag, but with, I find with like black leather, it kind of gives it a shiny patent look when it's not. So this is probably a true representation of what the bag looks like in real life. So the aged calfskin leather on here is very soft to touch. What I find really impressive is the smooth calfskin that runs all along the base and also at the bottom of the bag. And like I say, a good indicator of the structure and quality of a bag is whether it can stand up on its own, which it can do. The stitching is immaculate. On the Gabrielle backpack, you have four diamonds running from the top of the bag to the bottom. So we've got one, two, three, four, and then the CC logo sits inside the second diamond patch. So here it is. And then at the base, towards the base of the bag, you have five diamonds across. So you have one, two, three, four, five. 
And then like I was saying to you about the straps, you can probably see it a bit better now because I'm a bit more close up, but you have the ruthenium hardware here and then you've got the aged gold hardware on the right. And then it kind of goes into um, a more shinier silver and a shinier gold. So I just love the detail on that, really is beautiful. Just turn the light around so it's shining directly into the bag so that you can get a really good look inside. And it's got a beautiful red lining and the stitching in here is beautiful. <laughs> How many times can I use that word with this bag? But it really is. You have the Chanel red leather tab, which is sewn in here, which says Chanel made in Italy. You also have a back slip pocket, which runs all the way down to the bottom of the bag. And it's a really roomy bag. I'm actually really surprised. There's also a little leather red tab, which is sewn into the base of the bag with the code. So let's see what we can fit inside this bag. So, cleaner wipes for wiping down the shopping trolley. I have got my six ring key holder. I have got a mini pochette, which I keep all sorts of things in there that basically stops them rolling around the base of the bag. So pop that in there. I've got a notepad because I'm old school and I like to write stuff down. So that fits in there nicely. I have got some hand sanitizer. I have got some, I've literally just ran around the house to see what I could pick up and put in here. I've got some nail polishes. So that's what I'm wearing on my nails today. I like Nail Brew because basically their nail polishes are non-toxic. They help your nails to breathe. So that's my winter color, that's my summer color. So I can even fit those in there. I've also got my sunglasses case, not that it's sunny in the UK at the moment, but I'm gonna slip that in there. I've got some hand cream by Origins. I've got some pawpaw, which is really nice soothing balm. It's got a bit of a pink kind of strawberry tint to it. I've got my little mini wallet, my YSL card holder. I have got my little key clay, which I keep all of my coins in. And then because I'm going through a bit of a chocolate phase at the moment, um, is it time of the month? I don't know. Um, I've got Kit Kat dark chocolate, which I'll pop in there. Gold bars. These I used to eat so many when I was at school and I love them. So I've rediscovered those recently. And then for the lols, I've got a little mini Grey Goose vodka. How nice is that? So look, you can fit a ton into this bag. It's actually crazy how much you can get in here. So let's just close the bag. So that is what the bag looks like when it's closed. And then to open and access your things, super duper easy. Look, you literally can just pick things out and everything is really accessible which I love. There's nothing worse than sticking your hand into a bag and just not being able to get stuff out. So actually it's quite a well-organized bag. And I think that's probably due to the, let me just turn this light. I think that's probably due to the um, rigid base at the bottom. So I am five foot three, I'm a size 14. And this is what the backpack looks like against my frame. This is the larger size. And I actually think the larger size looks better. So I think there are like six or seven different ways you can wear this backpack. Um, I've seen the video on YouTube. Um, but I think the most common and practical ways are would be on one shoulder, just like that, with both straps hung over. You could just have one strap thrown over the shoulder so this is what the backpack looks like worn on my back and i've got to say if you've got people walking behind you they're not going to be able to stop admiring how beautiful the chain straps are on here and just like all the details it just looks really beautiful i also like where it sits on your back it's not too high up it's not too low it's kind of like mid back and it's definitely not kind of bouncing around on your bum as you walk because there's nothing more annoying than that you can then pull the chains through the side of the bag and then wear it like this kind of sitting and resting on the crook of your arm okay i wanted to show you how to access your things really easy swing the bag around literally shake 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 and then i can pull out whatever i need a kit kat a gold bar or some hand cream now you could pull the chain all the way through the front of the bag and wear it 
on the shoulder just like this. It's probably a little bit too long for me because I'm only five foot three. And this is what it looks like across the body. And actually, I quite like how this looks. It's sitting just on my hip and yeah i quite like that it's definitely a very versatile bag in terms of the number of ways you can wear it only thing is how easy is it to retrieve things from here so let's just see yeah you literally just pull it apart with your fingers and then you can take out whatever you need your wallet or whatever so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you want to chat with me then send me a dm on insta i will see you very soon in my next video have a lovely lovely day Lots of love. Bye-bye.